absolute honor to be standing here with the first ever women elected MP of the Western region as well as the, the CEO of Jake Wingo, Mr. Jacob and Ruby Dalla. Um, it is my honor, sir and ma'am, today here standing with both of you all. You're visionaries of your own fields. Um, one message from both of you, Ruby, from you to the youngsters who are wanting to enter politics, especially women, and uh, Mr. Jacob, a message from you to the young entrepreneurs who are trying to make a name of themselves in this world. First of all, I want to say that 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 I want to say and it is a great honor to also be with you to see a young woman reporting uh, to everyone uh, that is listening. We are here today to celebrate 20 years of South Asian excellence. So to all of the young people that are watching, remember that no mountain is too high, no peak is too big, that with hard work, with having a dream and having a vision, anything in life is possible. And we presented tonight the Dr. Neil Dalla Award of Excellence, and his life philosophy was based on the book The Secret, to ask for it, believe it, and receive it. And I hope that they will remember those three things. Thank you so much, Rupert, sir. I'm honored to be here tonight and my message is this, it's very simple. Whatever dream you have, whatever vision you have, doesn't matter what job it is, what profession it is, the advice is very simple. Take it very seriously and follow it. Follow it and work hard. Without hard work, nothing happens. That's my advice. You're also the first ever recipient of the Neil Dalla Award. Um, how are you feeling here tonight? Oh, I feel I feel like um, this award belongs to Neil, you know, and you know that. And so I, I I'm so honored to receive this award tonight, and to be the first one to receive it. And I feel like it really belongs to our brother Neil Dalla, really. It has been all the things that I never thought it would be. You know, it's been grueling and all of the, you know, challenges and struggles that you can't even imagine I have faced as an Indian woman, as a, um, you know, a, a, a single mom, um, as a media that is trying to get respect in the mainstream community. 20 years ago, none of that existed. It was very, very difficult. So I needed to make big moves. So with my magazine cover, I did a lot of crossover. You know, we had people from Jennifer Lopez to Ashwarya Rai, from Nelly Furtado to um, Frida Pinto, because I wanted to make a point that South Asians and how we live is not just about one culture. It's about the melting pot of what makes us us. We, we wear South Asian clothes, eat South Asian food, speak South Asian languages, but we also speak English. We also wear Western clothes. I also go out and eat pizza. Why do I have to choose? That's why we created Anoki, to celebrate the diversity of how we live as South Asians in Canada. So I'm here to support Raj. As you know, she's completing her 20 years in fashion and she's also helping uh, good cause tomorrow they are doing an event for uh, mental health awareness which is uh, I think great cause and uh, I'm here to support lots of folks are here to support her and um, you know I think it's, uh, it's because she's celebrating true values um, which 20 years is not a shorter period of time so we're all here to support Raj and uh, her dedicated team and uh, I just uh, wish her well uh, for the future and uh, just congratulate her and then uh, best wishes for her future. South Asians are taking over the world. I feel like from the music to the culture to the movies, Bollywood, everything has just, I think, been so important in bringing the cultural awareness to the globe and the fact that you can see that, you know, there's a little Indian touch in everything now. And I think it's just, it's been so inspiring to see, thanks to, you know, Anoki, to people like Raj, that 
that, you know, we used to sort of be the side characters, and now we're seeing more and more that South Asians are just at the forefront of beauty, of fashion, of writing, of everything that is creative, and I think it just feels really inspiring to know that we can really change the game. I think that uh, South Asians have been uh, the pioneers of fashion for so many years. Uh, before it was only in Bollywood and in India, but now we see it is uh, all over the world, because when you see the red carpet at Cannes Film Festival, you see the Oscar the Indian community and our South Asians are everywhere. And the Dalla group of companies, um, which I have the pleasure and the honor of leading, I am proud to be the CEO, I'm proud to support Anoki on 20 years, proud to support Raj Gurn, and all of the work they are doing of supporting South Asian achievers and South Asian excellence. 20 years of Anoki Media and Raj, I just love celebrating Raj because she loves celebrating others and I think that that is part of what makes the Anoki brand so unique is their ability to recognize all those achieving excellence and really uplifting the community.